My name is Amelia. And I'm Ella. And on this episode of Students Teaching Students, we'll be teaching you how to save the pendant template to your file and open it up in Inventor, and your teacher will show you how to decal it. Once on the desktop, click the Project Lead the Way Office Storage icon. Select your teacher. Go to 3D Printing Files. Click Templates. And choose the one that you would like to use. Right click and copy. Now, go to the folder with your name on it in your period section. Click your name, right click, and paste. Once on Inventor, select Open, click the drop down arrow, and select Desktop. Go to the PLTW Office Storage. Find your teacher's designated folder. Find your period number. And open the folder with your name on it. Select the template you'd like to use. And press Open. At this point, I want to show you how to decal your template. Right-click on the surface and go New Sketch. We're then going to go up and look for the image icon. Click that. It's going to want us to go find where we've saved our image that we want to decal. That's going to be in your personal folder. So I'm going to the desktop, and then I'm going to go to the Project Lead the Way drive down here at the bottom. It says PLTW Offline Storage. And then I'm going to go into the Marshall folder or your teacher's folder, find the appropriate period and where you save that image. I'm going to go down to the Marshall folder here. I'm going to grab my Maple Leaf image and I'm going to open it up. It's now attached to my mouse. I'm going to go click and drop it on the page. Click OK and then I'm going to grab a corner to resize the Maple Leaf to make it so that it will fit onto my template. So I'm just moving that in. I'm going to drag it over and I'm going to center it up on my template. When I got it where I want it, I'm going to go up and I'm going to click Finish Sketch. Then I need to decal it. So if I go over here, kind of where Extrude was, uh, there's a Creator tab. In the upper right-hand corner is a Decal button. The first thing it's going to ask me to do is to click on the image. So that's the Maple Leaf. And then it's going to ask me to click on the face of the template. I'm going to click that, hit OK. And now my Maple Leaf is uh, decaled onto the template, as you can see here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Do a right mouse click, say New Sketch, um, go to my Line Tool, and I'm going to trace out the Maple Leaf. And it's really important when you're tracing it out to make sure that your lines are all connected and we make a complete path all the way around the Maple Leaf. That will allow us to then be able to cut the Maple Leaf pattern out of our template. When you cut the Maple Leaf pattern out of your template, you can go all the way through the template if you want. You can go halfway through or as far as you want, or you can actually extrude the maple leaf forward. So there's a lot of different options once you have your pattern selected. I'm going to cut all the way through. So I'm finishing up here. It's very important to come down and start where you finish so it makes a closed loop. I'm then going to hit Finish Sketch. I'm going to go to Extrude, select the maple leaf. I'm actually going to take it to the house so it turns isometric so I can see what's going on. And I'm going to go Cut, Distance, All, which means it's going to go all the way through, and hit OK. And there we have it. We've got the template ready to go uh, to create an STL file. 